as a psychiatrist, I have been listening with fascination to the fact that we have here veterans of three different wars, World War II, Vietnam, Iraq, uh, different ages, and yet TM has helped them all transform their lives. We have women and we have men. So apparently gender is no barrier to the power of TM. We've heard about military sexual trauma and we've heard about combat related trauma. So apparently the kind of trauma, the cause of trauma, the origin of trauma is no barrier to the effect efficacy of TM. So as a psychiatrist, I sit back and I think, wow, what is this process that crosses all these barriers that is available to people in so many different stations of life? We have here a truly um, a wonderful, miraculous entity. And the more people who find out about it, gain access to it, and are able to get the healing effects of it, the better. In the break, somebody came up to me and said, what about a mom who's just overwhelmed by her kids and, and just every day feels like a trauma? So, <laughs> you know, I don't want to diminish from anybody else's trauma, but, but trauma is a very broad word, and this is a truly miraculous technique. In thinking about where we stand in connection with transcendental meditation and post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm going to borrow from and modify a quote by the late, great Sir Winston Churchill, who appropriately made it to comment on the stage of the war that he then saw himself as being at. I will apply it to where we are in relation to TM for PTSD and specifically combat-related PTSD. This is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but perhaps with the help of this $1 million generous grant, it is the end of the beginning. Thank you.